These are leftovers from Mother's Day. I need to do my eyebrows. I think I messed up right here. See how this one comes out this wide? And this one is kind of short. This one is gonna have to come up a little more. I got these new contacts in. The color is kind of crazy on me. These are, I think, ivory. And I bought these online, veintap.com. I've been looking online for contacts for a long time, but I didn't trust any of the online shops that I saw, like TD, TTDI and Eye Candies. I think they're both like Chinese websites. And I read the reviews and a lot of people were complaining that they never got their order or their order took like 30, 40, 50 days to, to get there. Really terrible customer service. They don't respond to emails and stuff like that. So I just kept looking and looking and I finally found that website called veintap.com. And these are so comfortable that I forget that I'm wearing them and I fell asleep in them. Like I could have slept all night in them. They were that comfortable. They were really easy to put in. Like this is only my second time wearing them, but both times I I popped them in on the first try. And these fresh look ones that I got, I got these on eBay. The, the thing I like most about these is they're not pixelated. Like you can't see like the little dots of color and they look more natural. Like the color doesn't look natural on me, but like the way they're made, like, you know, the color is natural. So I got them in like two or three days, something like that, but I got them really fast. Yeah, so these are ivory. So today is May 14th, Mother's Day was two days ago. I had a really nice Mother's Day. I mean, like we didn't do much, but it was nice and I got to relax for a few minutes. And my husband, he surprised me with a bouquet of flowers. And then after he gave me the flowers, I was like, okay, where's, where's my strawberries? Cause I was expecting strawberries. I told him I wanted them and I guess he forgot. And so I mentioned it to him and he said he didn't get any. I was like, okay, it's fine. And so he snuck off while I was in the shower and went and got some chocolates. We already had strawberries and he got that wax paper. So I came out the room and him and the kids were, they were making chocolate covered strawberries for me. He even got the, the white chocolate to drizzle on top. They were really, really good. They put them in the fridge and they came out bomb. Like, and they came out really, really good. That was really nice. Damn. Oh, I left my... I left my beauty blenders in my makeup bag wet. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to buy some more. Mm. I mean, they don't stink or anything, but, but you know, it don't take long for a fungus to grow. I mean, my husband's out there watching the NBA draft and my kids, they're, they're playing on their tablets and Darius. My, my youngest, she's hitting her terrible two phase. And so hers is like really, breaking out so bad. I don't know if it's the sunblock or the face wash that I've been using. I had this one, this one just went down, this, 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 and then there's one under here. Um, This one, this one. And I really, I seriously think it's the face wash that I started using. It has tea tree oil in it. Tea tree oil is supposed to be really good for acne, but I don't think I can handle it. I'm mixing up like four. Oh, shit. Holy shit. I have to add some more of this orange foundation here. Let me go look in the bathroom because this looks pretty bad. No, don't let life take a toll on your happiness. Okay? So with that being said, thank you and God bless. Don't let... Can you do me a favor and get that mirror that's out of the bathroom? I'm going to tell the people what you're just doing. All right, so this is what I'm doing to fix the color. So I, I put some eye makeup remover on this and I'm just like 
So I'm just dabbing it around, taking out some little foundation, but I'm gonna try to salvage this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over with the brush. Okay, that's, that's much better. So now my face is orangey and my skin is, is yellow. I have a slight yellow peachy undertone. Almost forgot to mention that I got some more piercings. I got a third nose piercing here and she put the dot on and I approved the dot. Now that I see it, I don't like it. It's too low. I wanted it higher up. And I don't think... That looks terrible. I mean, she showed me the dot and I approved it. I was like, yeah, that's good. And I could have sworn the dot was up higher. And she actually put it in a lot lower than I wanted it. And I'm not happy with the placement. Not really. And then she put this gigantic hoop in here. I'm not sure why she put this big hoop in here because cartilage doesn't swell that much. I mean, at least mine doesn't, but I'm gonna make it work. And then I got, got the four helix here. I got the anti-tragus here. This is the anti-tragus. And then I got another conch up in there. I have a conch on this side too. I didn't want this jewelry piece here. I didn't realize she was gonna put this in. Like I told her I wanted just the basic piece and I guess I just kind of forgot. I just wasn't thinking, but I wanted a hoop in here. I don't even know if she could have put a hoop in here because like when you're getting a fresh piercing, you can't always get the type of jewelry that you want, but I didn't even ask for a hoop, so I don't know. So she put this curved, bar in here so what's that's one two three that's four piercings and i wanted the surface triggers right here it's um i'll have to show you a picture but yeah i wanted the surface triggers here but she didn't feel comfortable doing it i can go back tomorrow night and have the other girl put it in it would have been five piercings and then i got two dermals taken out i've had three dermals taken out before but the way he took them out is he like he just grabbed a hold of it and like torqued it or something and yanked it out. And I felt like that was a pretty good technique. It healed good, like he took this one out and he took this one out and he took this one out and put it back in. He took it out so clean that he, he was able to put this back in, like no problem. He took it out really clean. So with this lady, she took out this one and this one. I'm gonna show you how bad it looks. It looks terrible. And this one looks even worse. It's just like a big gaping hole there. Let me, let me tell you what she did. So she got a needle, like a big ass needle. I think it's the same kind of needle they use to do piercings with, but I don't know. But she got this big fat ass needle and just started cutting around it. She was pulling on it and cutting around it as she went. I couldn't believe it because it just didn't occur to me that that was a thing. It didn't occur to me that that was a technique. Something told me before I went in there, something told me you just go back to the guy and have him take your dermals out. But I, I'm very impatient and I didn't want to make another trip. And I'm like, let's just do this right now. So thank God that both of these dermals were like rejecting and sticking up. Like the anchor was like poking up out. So it was like right there at the surface, ready to, to come out. So thank God I waited because if I had gone sooner than that, she would have had to dig around even deeper and cut more. So now I know like, if I ever have more dermals put in and taken out, I'm gonna ask them, how do you remove dermals? And you should too. Like, ask them what their procedure is because I I couldn't believe that. I was like, wow. Surprisingly, this didn't really hurt. <laughs> I've been looking online and I think I've pretty much decided what I wanna put here. It's a little elephant, a little tiny silver elephant. I can't decide on another piece 
for this. I know um, I want to get something simple and smooth because when I put makeup on, I don't want to be digging foundation and concealer out of the little nooks and crannies. So I do want something really smooth and simple. These haven't healed yet. Cartilage takes so long to heal. Cartilage takes forever. So I might have these, I'm gonna have these for a while before I mess with them again. I feel like I can exchange these out myself, no problem. Especially if I'm just putting a hoop back in. And then now that they have those push pin libres, that's so much easier to, you know, just, you just push it in there. You don't have to screw anything in. Like the anti-tragus and the snug, this forward helix. I'm probably gonna have to go in the shop and buy their jewelry, which is probably the best option anyway. I'll just have to like, shop around and just you know find something that i like and have them swap it out for me anyway so i really need to get this makeup done i'm not going anywhere but i feel like my whole life is on hold <laughs> just to get this done i mean honestly i could just leave it like that that looks pretty good to me Okay, my brows, they look okay. They look okay. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what's quite wrong with them. Like the reason why I haven't uploaded in so long is because I've been working on this project. I'm trying to create like at least seven streams of income. Like if I had one, or two streams of income that brought in like a bunch of money, then maybe I don't need the other five. But so my goal right now is like seven streams of income. When I start working on something, I, I wanna finish it to completion, you know? I don't like stopping and starting. Just, I like to finish it. I wanna finish it, get it done. So I'm really proud of myself. My podcast is one stream of income. Hopefully YouTube will be another stream of income. I had, Dar, you have my other powder brush. Do you remember where you put it? You do? I just got some of that Beauty Bakery yellow powder and that shit right there. I think that's gonna replace my cover girl setting powder. Okay, I feel like it's finally coming together. Um, I feel like I matched it pretty good. Like, oops, oh, I wasn't supposed to go around my eyes with that. I'm going to go under my eyes with this um, MAC powder in C5.5. It's um, it's like a burnt peach undertone. I should have went with a five instead of a 5.5, but this is great. I love this. And I think I'm gonna dab under here too. I tell you what, this Mac, Mac makes like some of the best powders ever. Oh, I love Mac though. This is a really nice bronzer. It's just the most simple drugstore uh, bronzer by Revlon, and I really like it. So I wanna push this back. Delete all this here. Just delete, 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 delete. Okay, so that is a matte bronzer, so now I wanna put on a uh, like a shimmering bronzer. So this is a NARS Casino bronzer. It's, it's like slightly, it's like satin, I guess. I don't know, but it's not matte, it's not totally matte. I do like a dark contour. So Nikki Tutorials, she said take this up here. You can take this up here or you can take it down. I guess you could do both. So I'm gonna do both. <laughs> I'm gonna do both. I need something else on my cheeks. 
Okay, this is mineralized skin finish in dark tan, which is like this color is good, but I want to try the the darker shade, the one that's like darker than this. Maybe I should really burn that, but just because I want to sleep doesn't mean you start with it. Little blush on. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you the affirmations on my wall. I have a bunch of positive okay. affirmations. My son wants more noodles. Just about done. Shit. I swear I was gonna talk about so I put this NYX Madeline on, and I mean, honestly, I want something darker, but I don't have anything darker. And um, put this. I really need to get out there. It's like pure Panama. This is the final look. I'm happy with how my lips came out. I'm happy with the whole look. I feel like the blush goes with the lips. Like when I put the lipstick on and made the the blush pop. Okay, so this is it. Like I gotta go.